But Governor Locke has been talking a little bit this week about one of his goals uh, here in uh, China as the new ambassador, which is to attract uh, more investment from China uh, into the U.S. Um, on the uh, Forbes 400 list that came out yesterday, we can see that a lot of the, the people that are at the top of the Forbes list in the States are quite active uh, here in China. Uh, on the other hand, if we look at our list of China's most successful people, we don't see too many of those successful Chinese investing in the States right now. Why is it, do you think, that, uh, that, uh, that successful Chinese are not investing in the States so much? Uh, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, we certainly spent a lot of time talking about it, but, but generally speaking, you know, the strategy of U.S. Uh, offshoring jobs to China because they were low cost uh, has been present for a long time. Um, that's helped to generate a lot of the wealth that now the uh, Chinese entrepreneurs and owners that you mentioned, uh, they have that wealth. Uh, but the fact of the matter is many of them are interested potentially now in investing in the U.S but they don't know necessarily, unless they're one of the very largest uh, Chinese companies, they may not know much about investing in the U.S. So from our standpoint as a city, we've been active since I got elected in 2005, uh, developing our relationships in China. This is my fourth visit to uh, China, and we've had some successes because we've been able to bridge some of the information gaps and help them to feel comfortable about investing in, in the U.S. Um, you know, similarly, we've got smaller and mid mid-sized uh, companies in our community uh, in Rockford who had the same challenges trying to invest in China. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not one of the largest companies um, investing in a foreign country where you may not have language or cultural ties mm -hmm. or understanding is a real challenge. So we've tried to, uh, through our sister city relationship, Rockford has uh, got a relationship with Changzhou, China, mm -hmm. so a couple hours from uh, Shanghai. Mm -hmm. That's really been a gateway for us uh, to, to start our, our process. And as a result of uh, uh, networking both here and networking back in the States, uh, we are uh, in Illinois very proud of the fact that we're um, now the home of Wansheng, a uh, Chinese company very successful in China, mm. which has invested in a solar power panel a plant. Mm. Uh, when I have to tell folks and justify my trips, why am I going to China? You know, it's not a junket, it's not a vacation. Mm. It's because we need that face to face interaction with the Chinese, mm. much the same like we would want back in the States if somebody was coming to us proposing an investment. It's probably not going to happen the first time you meet them. Mm. So, by meeting with the chairman of the board of Wansheng mm. um, in China on multiple occasions, I think that absolutely helped them uh, understand that we were going to be a, play, a safe place to invest mm -hmm. and, a, uh, and a good long-term place to invest. Mm -hmm. uh, the other part of my uh, mission here in uh, China right now is promoting the EB-5 visa program. Mm -hmm. uh, the consulate uh, office is talking a lot about Ambassador Locke. Um, I, I love hearing what he's talking about. And um, Frankly, a lot of the commercial offices that have been in China, uh, this is a new thing for them because they've been spending most of their time legitimately uh, having to respond to the needs of American businesses, trying to figure out how to do business in China. Mm. Well, now we have an opportunity mm. for them to help us access this network in China, very wealthy entrepreneurs, to let them understand about the EB-5 program, let them understand that it's a great way to get a green card, as well as a great way for American communities like ours to find investment um, income that we desperately need because we know the commercial banks uh, their underwriting has uh, changed dramatically. If we want deals to get done, this is a great way uh, to create uh, gap financing, um, mm -hmm. and that's what we're hoping to do as a city. Mm -hmm. You just mentioned that you're here trying to fill in the information gap. Right. Um, it, it, more specifically, what are you doing on this trip, and, and how, are, how are you filling in some of those gaps? Sure. Well, um, one of the things, things I'm, I've been able to do is, because this is my fourth trip, I, I've uh, made a lot of mistakes, learned a lot from prior visits, and I'm hopefully, hopefully I have a chance to share that with some of the other uh, folks who this may be their first time here. Um, and uh, you know, when I'm, we're communicating here, it's not just to our um, counterparts in China. It's helping the members of our Illinois delegation to to see opportunities. I learn a tremendous amount from the people who have varied experiences, whether it's in education. Uh, government, private sector business, mm -hmm. and that network is really, really vital, mm -hmm. uh, just like it would be back in the States, mm -hmm. to identify opportunities, uh, potential threats, and, and mm -hmm. ultimately get deals mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. So you came to Beijing first? Uh, uh, this trip, uh, Beijing, Shanghai, um, I will actually um, um, stay quite a bit longer after the Illinois delegation. We'll be visiting uh, the city of Xi'an, where 
uh, large uh, Rockford company, Hamilton Sunstrand, which is part of an even larger uh, company, United Technologies, um, has uh, opened a plant recently. I'll be visiting that plant, uh, mm -hmm. visiting the network of aerospace companies that have now um, started up in Xi'an. Mm -hmm. um, the great thing is our private sector businesses like Hamilton Sunstrand love to see American government officials coming over here because, quite frankly, most of them don't. Um, they're afraid of the image, they're afraid that they'll get criticized politically for coming here. Mm. And it's, you know, to me, I keep saying, uh, what are our choices right now? Rockford's got the highest unemployment rate in the state of Illinois. Mm. We either sit back home and cry over our, our beers or uh, mm. uh, get busy. Mm. And engaging the worldwide marketplace mm. is an opportunity to create jobs back home. Mm. So you're here with the Illinois delegation, Correct. which is meeting with uh, the ambassador, uh, and it's here in uh, Shanghai meeting with some local government officials, right. and you're going out to visit uh, an Illinois Rockford company in, uh, in Xi'an. Xi'an. Yeah. At the margin now. Also be in uh, Guangzhou. Um, we're also uh, meeting with uh, airline uh, related, uh, the, one of our target industries in Rockford is with this outstanding airports, uh, home of UPS's second largest hub. Uh, we're looking at expanded cargo operations as well as tourism, uh, passenger tourism, uh, potential opportunities and uh, um, charter uh, companies doing leisure travel, which is a very, very um, young industry. Um, and we see that as an opportunity because of our ties that uh, mm -hmm. hopefully make something happen. So specifically, how are you doing that? Are you visiting UPS here in China also? Or Not visiting UPS. What's the um, new gritty for, for getting this done? You need to meet with the government agencies. Um, China is uh, it's very well known that uh, without the support of Chinese government, uh, you're not going to get a deal done. So uh, my role uh, unlike in the U.S. where you can get by many times and just hope government gets that all out of the way, here you need the blessings of government to get a, a lot of the deals done. So we meet both with um, uh, the businesses, many of which are um, heavily invested in by the Chinese government, as well as the official agencies. So uh, China's uh, CAAC, uh, the Aviation Authority, um, is an entity that we meet with, uh, met with in the past, as well as with companies like Air China, Cargo, um, uh, and uh, uh, other Chinese cargo uh, companies mm -hmm. also met with uh, private uh, Chinese companies that, uh, that does um, um, uh, leisure charters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, again, this is an early phase of that industry developing, but uh, because of the rapid growth, aviation is a huge area. It's, a, it's an area that's one of the reasons why we're so excited about uh, opportunities here because Rockford is a home of a huge aerospace cluster. Mm -hmm. uh, Boeing and United and mm -hmm. uh, Illinois, it's just a great, a very ripe area for us to develop. So you got to hit it on all different levels. And mm -hmm. again, because I've um, had the very good fortune of working with a really good team that have helped you know, private businesses as well as government folks um, that have helped educate us. It's really, we've got a pretty good strategy, I feel. Mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. Just briefly now, what are some of the other lessons that you've uh, learned? You said you've... you've Get your learned. shots before coming over. Mm -hmm. um, my, uh, kind of joking, my, and it wasn't in China. My first trip, though, I uh, traveled uh, to Kyrgyzstan on the way back and uh, got hepatitis, so that was not good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of uh, tips about, uh, you know, travel with an interpreter who's fluent Mandarin, um, and you'll, uh, 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 you, you know, not only will you be able to hopefully make airline uh, reservations, uh, but it, uh, our Chinese counterparts are impressed by the fact that you know, we've gone to the level of hiring our economic development agency, Mandarin speaking, uh, employees and staff to help support our, our efforts. Um, one of the other things, just uh, culturally uh, understand the importance of uh, the non-formal business meetings, which in the U.S., you know, we put some credence to here, it's absolutely vital. Dinners and, and ceremonies are really, really important to establish trust in, in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. When might this be?